Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's Hot Pie King Carter here, the super man of YouTube. I'm here to drop a little bit of knowledge about NBA Live 13 and the E3 experience, or as I should just say, NBA Live 13 preview. Now, we already know that NBA Live isn't coming out for a while. It's, it's coming out October, you guys. It's not coming out next week, next month. It's not coming out until October. So, with that being said, a couple people went to E3. A couple people that I know from YouTube and said that NBA Live 13 is ass. Trash truck juice. But, it's early, you guys. Maybe they're coming up with something. Maybe they didn't want to show too much. But let me jump into what I want to talk about. Now, the first thing I want you guys to do. Look inside the description. Click the more button. You will see a link to an article that's telling everything, all the previews, everything you need to know about how NBA Live 13 is progressing. Now, let me jump into it. First things first, NBA Live 13 is supposed to be one of the greatest NBA basketball games to date from the NBA Live series, right? Now, we all know that Elite got shut down, and they've had two years, two whole years to build the game. So, they showed a pre-alpha version of the game at E3 from the developers, and the developers said that it was 60% complete. Now, this is pre-alpha, okay? 60% complete. So, it was a very early version of the game. They say, trust me, this ain't representing the final product, but this is what they're working with. Now, they say that the main focus behind NBA Live 13 are three key building blocks, which is the entire game being built around gameplay, presentation, and of course, online. We all know that EA has some of the best online servers and dedication and all of that. They don't even need to worry about that, but gameplay and presentation... They definitely do need to worry about that because we know that they're not that big when it comes to graphics. So, what they're trying to do is they're trying to give the user much more control possible. Not the, you know, one stick control of legs and one stick control of hands and arms and all of that. But what they're trying to do is they're trying to let you break out in different animations at any time. So, with that being said, if it's a triple threat offense, they want you to be able to pass out of a jumper, which 2K already does. But... It won't be as jaw dropping as you think it might be. You know, it ain't gonna be like your foot about to touch the ground and you just pass it out to somebody. You know, something like Paul Pierce to do. But, but what they're saying is, and in the post game, offensive and defensive players are independent of each other. So they're gonna see a lot of variety of animations down low between both players. Not just your player backing them down and one guy's just like, oh, I can't handle him. Maybe he's gonna give him a little bit of elbow here and there, you know, give him a little chest chest bump you know making sure you could keep him out of the paint or you're just going to see another guy overhauling getting to the rim now they're saying that some of the animations look robotic it's not very good at, at all in this demo but you know the overall graphics package look pretty solid the animations aren't you know very quick and falling apart and all of that they're saying that they're working on that of course but come on the game is still early so check it out an example LeBron does a drop step and the user, user control starts to rumble, which means depending on how hard somebody is pushing off you, your control sticks, you know, of course, the, you know, the controller is going to start shaking, you know, a whole lot. But they're saying that the game is going to be more physical. That means that the gameplay part of it is if you're backing somebody down, and he's going up against you. You better be sure and be ready for your jaw to just, you know, start shaking and all of that. Also. The presentation, we all know that EA Sports and Synergy and ESPN are all going to be working together. Like, we already know this. So, when it comes to that, the presentation is supposed to be crazy. We all know that ESPN is the shit. That's all we watch. <laughs> when we in the crib, we watching ESPN. So, what they're saying is, when you play NBA Live 13, you better be ready for an NBA Live 13 and ESPN experience. So, that means if you have an Xbox, you might as well go crazy with, with NBA Live 13. Now, for substitutions, halftime, post-game, pre-game, routines, and all of that, they're going to have the total works. That means that they got the lighting, the cameras, the floor. They have the crowds, the arena. Everything is supposed to look fluid because they got experts coming in from ESPN working on this entire game. Now, online. We all know online is, is the shit. EA servers keep everything going smoothly. Everybody already knows this. If you play Madden, NCAA, anything like that, you, you do your ultimate teams and you're doing your franchises and all of that. And it, it's just, it's fluid. 
So with that being said, I don't need to go too much into the online because we already know that EA is going to do their thing. They're going to come up with this little season pass for you to get the game early. So you know it's going to be a lot of people putting different you know aspects on the game, putting money into it early, seeing what they're going to get from the game. But like I said before you guys, in every one of my comments, if you want to get more info about NBA Live 13 or even NBA 2K13, you guys know where to come. This is IKC signing out. I'm out of here y'all. Peace.